Hello and welcome to the Retro Tech 120p challenge uh, where you record your run with your 20p and see how far you get compared to other people on Facebook. Well worth checking the link down below to see how far you can get. To be honest, I could elaborate on this because all these videos are going to take a long time to do because I can't see anyone doing a video for this that's less than a quarter of an hour. Here is Mouse Shooter Go Go, a selection by Sean Reynolds and a very good one too. Not a known game at all, but a game with its own distinct charm. Um, if you can uh, see with your own human eyes, you'll be able to note that uh, it's quite an original concept really, isn't it? Look at it. Um, you play this uh, little mouse as he struts around the level in uh, Smash TV style, blasting um, balloons with animals' faces at each other um, to take them off of the playfield. And uh, so it's sort of a mix between um, Puzzle Bobble and Smash TV. Um, and it works really well. There's um, a button that will freeze you in place depending on which way you want to um, be pointed at, but you can also move around freeform as well. Um, so there's uh, there's depth to the control that works out pretty well in the game's favour. Um, so it's a, a game by a company called Metro Corporation, and it came out in 1995. It didn't have uh, a lot of success. It's not certainly one that we uh, we talk about very often in retro circles, but then I suppose in 1995 it was coming up against all the big 3D games, such as um, you know your your Ridge Racers, your Daytonas, and things like that. Who would look at this game and go, "I'm going to play that one over the big steering wheel car vroom vroom game"? So. Yeah, I can see why it got lost in the ether a bit. A bit of a shame, because it is quite a good game. Um, a cross between, as I say, a shooter and a puzzle game. And um, it is quite easy. If you, you saw it in the arcade, you would get your money's worth for your 20p, let me tell you that. And uh, if you're planning to watch all the videos um, based on that this week, I would put aside at least an afternoon, perhaps an evening too, um, because I think there's going to be a lot of 20 minute plus videos of this game, although I just did die there. Um, but um, it's not a regular occurrence. Um, it's, uh, yeah, as I say, it's not very difficult, um, but that's not um, a slight against Sean's choice at all because it's still a very, very good game. And um, I think it's going to be quite tight at the top this week. Um, so yeah, lots of fun. Um, just to let you know as well, I did a, a video that covered this game um, some time ago, which was the um, eight obscure arcade games. It was a follow-up to another arcade video I did where I, I found lots of weird stuff on MAME. This was one of them. Although I think I got the idea from when Sean played it to make that video. And... Uh, because I thought this was an interesting curio. I'd actually played its clone before this, and its clone was a game called Bang Bang Ball by a company called Bam Presto that came out the following year, and it is nigh identical to this, but with a much worse art style. Ah, yeah, this is something um, that happens in the game. If you take too long, the timer runs out, the walls start to close in on you like that bit in um, Star Wars, except C-3PO and R2-D2 are not going to be bailing you out. Your mouse is going to get crushed unless you sort out these seemingly living animal heads. Um, Sean, I think, has um, taken pity on me for the last few weeks and has picked a game stuffed with animals of various dif different descriptions. Um... So I could do genital facts uh, for the duration of my playthrough and not run out. However, I'm not going to do that. I am, instead of doing uh, an animal penis fact about uh, pandas or the wolves that you can see on here or lizards or anything like that, I'm going to go with the star of the game, which is this really cool mouse who's trying to rescue his mouse girlfriend um, who just ha so happens to be very sexualized in this as you see at the end of the round there's a cheerleader mouse at the end who's got big old norks when in fact if she was a mouse she should have about i don't know 10 nipples so she should have eight enormous breasts here she comes there's a bit of bounce there um 
It's very strange that because um, not only are they mice, but the one defining feature of a mouse's face, which is its big schnozzle, is not there and it makes the mice look really weird. I don't dislike the art style of this game at all. It is much better than the Bang Bang Presto one. Uh, bang Bang Presto, Bang Bang Ball by Bang Presto one. If you've played that, that is a completely soulless <laughs> looking game. It, it plays identical to it. But anyway, it is time for the genital facts. Just give time for the little ditty to come out, the old LWT music, um, which signals the start of genital facts. And I can talk as laboriously as I can about that because we've got many many hours of gameplay <laughs> left um this is the first level boss but yes i'm um, back to the genitals um so a mouse's penis is seven to eight millimeters long which sounds awful for mrs mouse but actually it's pretty big for its body so but i, I don't expect people to say hung like a, a door mouse uh, in a positive light still. Eight millimetres. It's tiny, isn't it? It's it's at least a millimetre shorter than mine. I've left you a little gap there so you can laugh at my self-deprecating humour. So, yes, so here we are. This is stage two of the Operation Blow Up Animal Heads using a gun. And uh, here I am blowing up animal heads using a gun armed with bullets made from animal heads um so yes it is um it is a lovely little game this um well done sean for selecting it um it's certainly it's a break from the norm of late um where we've played very different games and it's nice to play a game with puzzle elements because you know what well, i like a good puzzle game um have you got a particular puzzle game you like? Tell me in the comments, because I'm a big fan of puzzle games. Um, I think um, Puzzle Bobble being a favourite of mine. Tetris, I think, is a timeless classic. And if anyone, anyone tells me otherwise, I shall poo-poo them immediately. Um, Columns, again, lovely game. Um, what else do I like puzzle game wise? Pipe Mania, underrated. Love Pipe Mania. If you ever play the Super Nintendo one of Pipe Mania, um, be prepared for um, the most annoying music of all time. Um, I don't think I can, I might be able to find it and play it underneath this. Uh, I shall see if I can, but I don't think it's on KH, in, KH Insider, which if you're wondering, is where I get most of the music for the backing tracks of my videos, along with TV themes, obviously. Um, so, yes, uh, Pipe Mania, the first level music of Pipe Mania, which plays through the whole of the first stage, basically has um, about three bars to it, and it just repeats. So, yes, it's uh, it's not good, but the game is brilliant. Um, and I've always liked Pipe Mania. Um, first playing on the spectrum which is nothing to do with this it's a big digression but i am running out of things to say as i suspected i might and we're not even halfway through the video um so yes as i say this is a good game oh my god i'm gonna struggle if i'm saying that already um, so the little timer there, the little clock, is um, if you shoot it, which I don't because I'm a bit of a pillock, um, it freezes everything on the screen and you can go around, walk up to uh, the animal head you need to shoot into the other animal head and you could just blast it. Um, but uh, for some reason I've decided not to do that there. Like a big idiot. So we're on stage 11 now. Um, this weird formation here of animal heads now descending upon me as uh, as I play on. And another life lost. And that was quite a big gap between lives lost. Um, so, yes, it's going to be... Uh, I, I, I don't know who's going to do best on this. I think Sean who's, has had the most practice at this game. Um, because he, he did a video um, a while back which... Uh, he used five credits, but he made it through most of the game, I believe. Um, so, 
there is a lot to to this game in terms of stages and as i say it's very hard to die well it's not very hard to die i could eat, die pretty easily and i think right at the end of this video i'm like you know what? i want to go to bed <laughs> i died twice in the same level uh, spoilers all right so this is uh, a bit of a a nerve-wracking one because as you take out bits as you can see here oh my god i'm getting closed in um there's a little mechanic as well which i didn't describe where if you've got a uh, um the ball in front of you you can sort of bounce away any dangers uh it doesn't matter what color it is it will just bounce it away um which acts as sort of like a, a shield or a force like in our type it will protect you um, just don't let it touch your mousy parts. Never let anyone touch your mousy parts. That is some sage advice there. I guess the uh, the plot line to the game is pretty uh, obvious. It is um, that you must rescue your lady friends from cats who I presume are going to eat them. Um... You know, I don't know who's not feeding their cats and why they've decided to go on this conquest of sentient mouse eating. I mean, they're, look, they're in clothes. Both ladies and men mice. Do not eat them. That's just mean. Bad cats. Why you can't trust cats? They'll eat your pal sentient mice. Uh, don't think this game had uh, any conversions. I'm willing to be proved wrong, and if I am proved wrong... I will add a little thing to the video saying that I'm wrong. Um, and if I am wrong, I apologise wholeheartedly. I'd like to apologise on behalf of my family. And uh, please, um, Piers Morgan, don't lose your job over me saying or getting angry about me saying that... Um, that this wasn't converted to the Mega Drive or whatever. It wouldn't be the Mega Drive anyway. It, the most likely thing it would have been ported to would have been the PlayStation as a budget title, I suspect. But uh, I don't believe it is. Metro Corporation, not a big name, are they, in the arcade world? So I can't see it being ported. It could have been a Saturn game, maybe, at a push. But uh, beyond that, no. So yes, uh, more bubble popping fun and even less things to talk about. But look at that background, by the way. What's going on there? Sort of some sort of Japanese art. I'm sure someone will know what that's all about. Um, but uh, yeah, some man boobs going on with that bearded pig man at the back there. And uh, you know, what fair play to him. We're all getting older. Um, if you want to fight with your green friend uh, in a field with your with your norks hanging out then more power to you so yes here's uh, the clock in action and uh, there's uh, simultaneous breast jumping from the sexy lady mice uh, interesting uh, bosses it's a pair of cats this time blue cat now that's an actual blue cat have you ever seen that when they call grey cats blue cats that really pisses me off <laughs> I don't know why it does. It's just like, that is clearly not a blue cat. It's a grey cat. Whereas these cats, I don't know, maybe people who own grey cats will describe these as grey. I don't know. They're clearly blue cats. But these are your end level bosses. I should stop going on about blue cats and how they're not actually blue, but grey. But, um, you know, I'm trying to fill time here and I've still got another um, eight minutes worth of waffling to do which is proving to be a bit tricky but anyway yeah if you ever seen a cat explode like that please report that to the police that's not cool um more bubbles here now, i don't know why these bubbles are sort of alive and barking and hissing and it's a bit horrible when you think about it i don't know if they've been sort of bred by some evil cat corporation to attack the game doesn't make a lot of sense i'll be honest um i mean it, it's great but um trying to kind of make out the plot line of why the best course of action to save your girlfriend is to 
shoot animal skulls at other animal skulls that are sort of got the same physics as balloons is a bit beyond me. I'm sure, you know, they sat down, the people at uh, Metro Corp, and spent a lot of time working out how best to explain what was happening here, and then just gave up. Um, but yeah, this is a little tricky situation I've got me, myself into. These fast-moving skulls are getting close to me here, and obviously, as you can see from the uh, um, the little black bear, is it a bear? One, we've got uh, an extra wrinkle in the form of another balloon to 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 take on here, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, more balloons means mo problems. That's definitely what the song was about, wasn't it? Mo balloons, mo problems. It's, it was a clown parable, I believe. Um, yes, and as you can see, problems getting even worse because the um, trash compactor is indeed closing. Luckily, there's no um, Dianoga. Yes, that's a deep cut for you Star Wars fans in terms of uh, knowing what that was called. Um, but yeah, that's that's collapsing in on us. I've got a bad feeling about this. Um, yes, lovely blue wolf though. I'd like a blue wolf, definitely. Um I think I'm going a little bit insane trying to commentate on this. It is very difficult. Perhaps, perhaps I should have done an Operation Wolf and just left it quiet. Um, would you have played this in an arcade? I would have. Yeah, I, I think I would have. I don't know. Actually, I say that. I don't think I would have. Um, <laughs> I think uh, at the time I would have probably gone for what everyone else was playing. Be it, you know, the latest iteration of Street Fighter or Wing War or you know Ridge Racer something like that just like I left Windjammers which turned out to be my favorite arcade game as you can see in my last video which was about my top 10 arcade games now you don't need to watch it because um, I've given away what my favorite was but there's also another spoiler in the form of the fact that it was also listed in my um, favourite three arcade games in a podcast I did with Retro48K and Real Generic Demon which you can also watch and I'll put a link to that down below and that's burnt some time up talking about them let's be grateful for that and how long have we got left? about another four minutes I think so uh, and there is again another spoiler I keep telling you when I'm going to die um, which um, you should all be very grateful for because you've soldiered it through this far or you've skipped it along a bit but that doesn't matter um, man it's going to be a tough watch, watch <laughs> watching uh, 10 of these <laughs> um, again not slighting the game at all it's a very good game uh, very very good game um, but uh, I like my arcade challenges a bit punchier, you know? And that's um, um, my first credit gone. And we're um, 20 minutes in. Christ. Um, so, yeah. Uh, mouse. Has a mouse rifle shooting balloons still. It's not very varied, the game. Um, but, you know, we wouldn't have it any other way, would we? We like our puzzle games to, you know, follow a certain formulaic nature. And it is doing that. It is doing that very well. Um, still no idea what I'd pick if uh, my name came up um, next time. I, was, I thought about um, a game called I'm Sorry recently, um, which... Uh, a couple of the bigger YouTubers like Slopes Game Room and Kim Justice have covered, uh, which you might be aware of. It's about a Japanese politician. Uh, it's sort of like a Pac-Man style maze. You go around um, trying to avoid getting uh, spanked by um, gimps and uh, Giant Baba the wrestler and Michael Jackson and Madonna's in it as well. I think that would be an interesting game to play. It doesn't have any animals in, so I should really pick 
games with animals in if I'm going to stick with this thing. And as I say, well done, Sean, for giving me so many options with this one. Not just um, the mice, obviously, but a whole menagerie of animal balloons I could have chosen. I could have had a, you know, another pig fact. I could have had something about lizards or snakes, something about pandas. But he gave me that. He gave me that option. And if you're watching this, and if you're a participant in the Retrotech 120p challenge, then you should think about that. You should think about me and my video and why I need animals. And I hope you're paying attention at this stage and that you do indeed select your next arcade challenge video. When your name comes up on that wheel, you select a game with animals in or you don't have to at all. I shouldn't force you into it just because I want to talk about animal dicks. Um, so another quick reminder, the Retrotech 120p challenge is this. You basically get your 20p, which will be a fictional 20p, unless you found this game out in the wild, which during COVID is pretty impressive, brother. Um, and then you um, see how far you get with that 20p. You can have as many as many practices as you could possibly want maybe it would be 10 maybe it'd be five maybe it'd be one maybe you'll see this and go you know what i'll just play it and see how far i get because uh, uh with practice time and uh actually playing the game i'll be here for a month um so yes it's completely up to you what you do um and then you submit it and then on sunday the grand reckoning comes and we all see how much better at games other people are. Um, so yes, well worth your time. Um, we play all the classics and some obscure ones such as this. There you go. Is that me done? I am. You are released from your duty of watching me babble about cats and mice. Isn't that a glorious time to be alive? That time being right now so yes that is it for my retro tech 120p challenge i would like to bid you a k thanks bye tutty bye